Are you ready to stop feeling stuck, lost, or confused about what to do next in your career? Then the Manifest Your Career podcast is just right for you. With me, your host, Dr. Norma Reyes. The Manifest Your Career podcast offers you career advice that integrates your mind, body, and spirit. It's time you start listening to your own inner guidance. Tune in each week to learn how to combine your intuition, strategy, and logic so that you can manifest the career of your dreams. Hey everyone, welcome back. This is episode 91 and today I will be talking to you about manifesting your career with the moon. This episode has been a long time coming and that's it. That's all I'm going to say. I know that I've been meaning to do this episode so that you guys can learn how to use the moon's energy to manifest your dream career. So if you're new to following the moon cycles or really just understanding how manifesting works, how manifesting with the moon, it's okay because all you need to know is your rising sign. And if you don't know what that means or you haven't pulled your natal chart or you really have no idea, I'm going to put a link in my show notes and I will share how to pull a natal chart and this is going to be from Yasmin Bolin's side, who I am certified through her moonology. And so you would go there and she uses whole house astrology. And this is important because there's actually a lot of different types of astrology out there that are, you know, use different systems. And so she uses the whole house astrology as it works with the moon. That's what moonology is all about, using the whole house system. So know that it is a little bit different if you've used other astrology or needle charts you might be like oh i thought i was xyz as my rising sign and then you turn out that you're a different rising sign it doesn't change your chart that much it just changes in how you work with it in regards to the moon so don't stress yourself go there get your rising sign and then what i'm going to do is once you find your rising sign I'm going to have a blog post that you can click on that says if your rising sign is Aries, this is your sixth house, and then this is your seventh house. Okay, now those are the two major houses. I didn't even mention that, but here we go. The two major houses that are important for manifesting your career with the moon is the sixth and your tenth house. So your sixth and your 10th house. So if you have your chart out and you're like, okay, I got it. I got my sixth house and my 10th house. And if you're not looking at a whole house chart, don't worry if you have a couple of different things in there. What's most important is that you find your rising sign and you look at the specific sixth and 10th houses. So the sixth house rules the body, mind, and your well-being. This is the house of daily work and health routines. The 10th house rules your ambitions, your career, and your life goals. This house rules what you're known for, like the mark you want to leave on this earth. So I can't go into detail about every sign in this episode, but what you can do is use information to learn what time periods are important for you in manifesting your dream career. When is the best time for you to focus the energy of manifesting your dream career with the moon? There's four times in the year for you to use the energy for your sixth and your 10th houses. All the other times, I'm not saying don't, you know, forget about your career the rest of the time. I would just say that if things are not manifesting, it could be that you're not really in alignment with the moon's energy, the stars, the planet's energy. So really, instead of spending the whole year really super focused on your career, there's other areas of your life that you need to focus, right? So the moon is shining light on the different areas of your life that need to be addressed. And there's four times in the year for your career. So you're going to look for the four magical times that the moon is manifesting for you. And that is the sixth and the 10th houses. 
Okay, so the times I want you to focus on for manifesting your career are the sixth and the tenth house. And well, how do you figure this out? That's your rising sign. So for example, my rising sign is Gemini. This means that in my sixth house, I have Scorpio. In my tenth house, I have Pisces. So in my plan your year with the moon planner, I'll have a link in the show notes which this is something that I give to all my clients as part of their welcome gift. I have a page in there where you write down each sign, each house. And if you're interested in having one, like I said, you can go to my show notes and grab one. And right now they're going to be on sale for $9.99 because you still have the rest of the year to use it. And so um, now that you know which signs are your sixth and your 10th houses, you need to research when the next new moon and full moons are. Like I said, I'm going to have a list for you guys in a blog post. You can go there and find the when your sixth and your 10th houses are. But, you know, let's say that this is a different year that's not 2023, then you would go and look and you can go to any moon site. I'll probably have a link on that blog post for you to be able to look for the future years as well. Again, the planner has that listed for 2023. It has all the new moons and the full moons listed, but no worries. Like I said, you can go to the blog post and find your dates for your sixth and your 10th house. Now with the new moon and full moon, there's different rituals that you will be doing. So to keep it simple, especially if you're new to this, or even if you're not, just keep it simple and know that during the new moon, you set new goals specific to the house that it is in and in the full moon you reflect and release again specific to where the moon is in that house so during the full moon you need to reflect and release where the moon is shining specific to the house that it is in so today we'll be focusing on the sixth and tenth houses since these are career related for example my sixth house is ruled by scorpio the next new moon for that is november 13th and during that time it would be a perfect time for me to set goals that revolve around my daily routine and habits my daily work, my work environment. This would be a good time to explore and research companies I might be interested in working with, collaborating with, maybe picking up a new habit that supports my health, work, and well-being. So remember, you got to think about daily routine, work environment, mind, body, and spirit. And this is the time and this is important in regards to like if you are feeling that you are in a toxic workplace or in a workplace that doesn't rejuvenate you this is a good time to make those new moon goals those new moon intentions now during the full moon in scorpio which would be the full moon in my sixth house it just actually just passed may 5th 2023 and it was a lunar eclipse this would be a time of release with it being an eclipse it's also a chance for big changes, big releases in regards to my work environment, my daily habits, anything that affects my mind, body, and well-being. Of course, I have had some big changes arise recently with me finding an office space to see clients in person and a shift from being in corporate to expanding and my focus to going full-time in my business. If you had asked me at the beginning of the new year, if that's what I was gonna be doing, I would have said, no way. But here I am, eclipse season is over, but the eclipse season is always pushing you towards the necessary change that you need. And it will, unless you resist it. So oftentimes eclipses can coincide with layoffs. I fully believe those that get laid off were somewhere that they were stagnant, that needed a push, who really weren't finding enjoyment anymore. And so, they got laid off. I know I've been laid off before and I didn't necessarily think that I was stagnant. I just was there and I probably wouldn't have changed where I was working if I hadn't had had that push. So just know that everything always happens for a reason. It is pushing you in the direction that it needs to go. This doesn't mean that layoffs don't suck or that you'll always land on your feet as it really happens to be dependent on you. And if you're willing to flow with the change, and if you don't see it as a positive, then it can't help you grow and move forward. Really, it's up to you. 
so that is the sixth house now on to the tenth house if you're unsure if you found the correct one go to the blog post and see each of the rising signs listed with the appropriate sixth and tenth house for you with the next new moon and full moon listed okay so your tenth house is your major career house this is the house that holds the energy of your life purpose how you want to change the world what you want to be known for like the mark that you leave so my 10th house is in pisces pisces is a dreamy and psychic sign it's a water sign so you know that sounds about right for me now the next step is to find the new moon and the full moon for your 10th houses remember you just go to the link and for mine i'm a gemini rising and pisces in my 10th house the new moon was actually back in february 23 so the next one is not till next year and the next full moon is on august 31st so for your new moon in your 10th houses you want to set goals around your career ambitions your career dreams and life goals let yourself dream big set audacious goals like quitting your job to follow your passions allow yourself to choose one big dream remember you only get one time a year to set your dream career wishes so allow yourself to dream big when you're doing this then what you can also do is set some attainable goals for this year that could be around your big career dream or your next career move so you can kind of combine all of those, set some big audacious dreams and goals during that time, you know, using that energy, planting the seeds for maybe what you want to do in 10 years from now. And then, of course, planting the seeds for what you want to do over the next month and the next year. Now, next for the full moon in your 10th house, the full moons are all about release. During this time, you are to release anything that is no longer serving you. Perhaps you are moving on from your workplace, closing a chapter in your career, switching fields, pivoting, taking a step back, you know, deciding, oh, I actually want to focus more on my family and not necessarily focus on my career. What's most important is that you release what is no longer serving you in regards to your big career dreams, your big ambitions, the mark you want to leave on this world. Create a gratitude list for everything that you have now, everything that has led you to this place where you are today. Coincidentally, my next full moon in my 10th house in Pisces is this coming August 31st, 2023. And this is right around the time that I'm planning my corporate job, assuming everything goes as planned. Um, and I feel like, you know, saying like, si Dios quiere, right? That is the plan. So we will see what happens. I mean, I just think it's funny that it's during the time the full moon time you know like we are in alignment when we're in alignment and trust me guys like i did not like plan this out back in january but you know if you continue to just follow your intuition that guidance that nudge you will be in alignment with the energy from the moon the planets and everything else going on in your chart so whether you know it or not all of your life is influenced by the moon to manifest your career with the moon, you can simply keep track of these four dates. Come back to this episode, listen to how to use the energy for the new moons, the full moon, so that you can start manifesting your dream career. So go check out that blog post after you find your rising sign and see when your next magical moon moments are. Your moon moments, your magical moon moments. So there are two areas to look at. Again, the sixth house and the 10th house. This is using whole house astrology when working with the moon. And that's it for today. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to send me a DM on Instagram at Manifest Your Career, and I will help you figure out your sixth and tenth houses and your rising sign so that you know when your magical moments are. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you for listening to the Manifest Your Career podcast. Are you ready to take action today? Visit manifestyourcareer.com to get started and schedule a free discovery call with me and gain clarity today.